when Shinbi returned to the rock, she noticed that there was something written on it. Hi, Shinbi trembled. The thought of something, someone else out there, made her ghostly senses tingle. Green opened his eyes. He ran his fingers through the dewy grass. He nodded at the sky and waved at the clouds. Green sighed. The clearing felt too big and too empty. If only he had someone to talk to. Green froze. His eyes caught something that was out of place. It was Shinbi's reply. Hello, I'm Shinbi. Are you a ghost, too? He read it once. He read it twice. He read it five more times. Green reached for the prettiest leaf among the leaves that were strewn around him. I'm Green. I'm a shadow cast from this rock. And that was just the beginning. They continued to leave little notes and gifts for each other on top of the rock. Sometimes they would play games. That would go on for days and nights. More and more they became curious. What did he look like? What did she look like? Shinbi made a little drawing of herself for Green. Green made a little mud sculpture of himself for Shinbi. It was nice, but it was not enough. One day, Shinbi gave Green a drawing of the night sky. She wanted to share with him the joy she felt when stargazing. Green found it all fascinating. He had only heard of stars, but had never seen them before. This one looks more like a whale, Green wrote about the Big Dipper.